Hey, it's Ramsey Dewey in Shanghai, China. I'm going to review the Move It Speed, intelligent app-connected reflex punching bag for modern exercise. Or the Move It Speed for short. It is a reflex bag, meaning it moves back and forth. And I'm a big advocate of moving punching bags, but this one also is connected to an app for iPhone or Android phones. This app has a ton of options, all kinds of fitness classes, dance classes, and of course, the punching bag itself that allows you to work out with this sexy man right here and choose from a bunch of different programs and trainers or work out with this sexy woman right here. Burpees. Woohoo! Neat. The programs are all pretty simple. It's basically a combination, sometimes a combination combined with an exercise that repeats. And the bag, the sensor on the bag, will measure how many hits you got, how many you missed, and yeah. The bag comes with a pair of MMA style fingerless gloves like this, but I'm going to use these boxing gloves from Anthem Athletics because I really like them. Not sponsored by Anthem Athletics. Here's the on switch. You'll notice on the back there is a removable, rechargeable battery. You can plug that in. It comes with a charger and all the things you need to assemble and use this product, of course. Right above that is the sensor. When you push the button, it goes on and it will work as a hit detection. Make sure you have plenty of space to use this product because it does sway a lot. There's a spring at the bottom. You can adjust the tension somewhat with this dial right here, but it can go all the way over and all the way back. This is not a product designed for power punching. There are similar bags on the market with a spring higher up in the middle. I'll show you a video of one later that are designed for power punching and fast punching. This is more of a beginner device. Here's the base. It's a water-filled base similar to the Century Wave Master products. It fits 11 liters of water and it's got suction cups on the bottom to keep it in place. That being said, here is my friend Quan Kicker throwing a straight power punch at this thing, knocking it off the floor. And he's like half my size. Here's a similar but different product. Ryan Garcia is throwing some fast power punches. You'll notice the spring on this one is in the middle. This is for speed and power and precision. And Ryan Garcia, professional boxer, makes it look pretty dang good. The difference between this one and the Move It is the spring is on the bottom on this one. And so it sways a lot more, moves a lot more slowly, and is definitely more appropriate for a beginner. And that is not a bad thing at all. Check it out. Because of this device, my four-year-old finally can throw straight punches. I have been working with her her entire life, and when she saw me hit this bag, she wanted to do it too, and she can finally throw straight punches. I couldn't be happier about that. So beginners need a tool to work with. That being said, I sometimes found myself frustrated with the app and the hit detection because when you're a guy my size and you hit this, it moves quite a bit. And so the timing on the app was off because the app kind of expects you to hit it at the same rate and the same power as the people in the video, which is very soft by comparison. So when you hit it with these full grown man punches, and I'm holding back quite a lot because if not, it's gonna fly into the balcony and break the windows and all this kind of stuff because I can hit pretty dang hard I'm gonna say see it's bouncing off the balcony right there but what I'm saying is it sways so slowly when you hit it hard there's a delay on the comeback and so the app counts that as a miss and I was like no I didn't miss it I hit the thing I hit the thing anyway so my wife and my kids were actually a lot more successful with the motion detection on the app than I was, even though I have a lot more experience punching than them, specifically because they didn't hit it nearly as hard. And so the arc, the trajectory was much quicker, much shorter, and easier to time. I love moving punching bags. The light moving punching bags, like the speed bag, are so important for technique. 
and I love the double end bag. It's probably my favorite tool. It is one of the most applicable tools for fighting, for boxing, for any combat sport that involves punching, specifically because it emulates so much of what you do in a fight, motion-wise, the head movement, the combinations, the footwork, if you know how to do that. So, the moving bags in so many ways are a superior training tool to a heavy bag like this, because it doesn't move. So the move it, yeah, I appreciate that aspect of it a lot. Now let's take a look at the app. This app has a ton of stuff on it, and I find that confusing because I come from the generation where cell phones could make phone calls, send text messages, and play the snake game. So this is a little overwhelming. Now, the Move It has all kinds of different language options. For example, Chinese. So if you live in China, yeah, this app has your language, and you'll be able to use it. Now, let's look at one little thing, which is the body fat percentage. This is meant to link up with a body composition scale, however, I don't have one, and so by default it says I have 24.6% body fat, which is simply not true. I mean, look. So let's take a look at some of the things the app offers. It's got free programs, it's got programs you can pay for, you can sign up for a membership, and it's not just the punching bag program. Like I said, it's got a bunch of fitness options on there. But since we're reviewing the punching bag, let's take a look at a few of the programs. Now I sped these up double speed just to go through them quicker. The app is longer on the screen. It includes instructions printed on the bottom. The big problem I had was finding a place to stand up my phone so I could see it while working the punching bag. That was kind of difficult. Now they are simple, simple programs, just a simple combination, sometimes combined with a sim simple exercise, so you could easily memorize them. Just watch the app a few times first, familiarize yourself with the patterns, and then just do it without looking. But if you need a visual guide, that might be difficult, unless you have like a big iPad or some larger device, or and if you can put this on your TV or whatever, just make sure you have enough space so the bag doesn't sway over and hit your device. Now I know what you're all thinking. Will this device allow me to become UFC champion of the world? Well, I'm gonna tell you, it won't not make you UFC champion of the world. All right, seriously, it's a, it's a fitness device, fitness programs, really simple things to get you up and moving, get the blood going, and have fun while doing it. So if you like apps that encourage you to exercise, get up and interact in an interesting way with a device like this, this may be exactly what you're looking for. Remember, rule number one of exercise, rule number one of fitness, is do something. Get up and move. Rule number two, is do something that you enjoy. So if you like punching things, there you go. Rule number three, do something that you enjoy that gives you the result that you want. People are always asking me, hey Ramsey, is this effective? Is that effective? I'll tell you what's effective. If it gives you the result that you want, then that is the right way. Oh, and hey, before I forget, I saw this really cool toad while walking down the street. I don't see a lot of toads here in Shanghai, so if anybody can name the species in the comments, let me know. I'd appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Now get out there and train.